Sometimes it can be really fun to play with Shakespeare. And trade insults with each other. Just like this. Cob loaf. Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir? Me, sir? No, sir. Mm. Pinch egg. <gasps> it means pathetic egg, a non-entity. Coxcomb. It means fool, simpleton. You indistinguishable cur. That doesn't mean can't be distinguished. It means shapeless. <laughs> shapeless, am I? Thou impudent, embossed rascal. Embossed means bulging out like a boil. And sometimes you can enjoy the fun of Shakespeare's words without worrying what they mean. You base flap-eared knave. A pox in your throat, you bawling, blasphemous, incharitable dogs. You base football player. Ooh. You might think that one was weak. Actually, it wasn't. Football in Shakespeare's time was a game of the gutter. Uh, one writer, Sir Thomas Eliot, he called it a game of base fury and extreme violence. Not much has changed. Thou clay-brained guts. Thou naughty-pated fool. Thou obscene, greasy tallow catch. <laughs> naughty-pated means block-headed. Tallow catch is a tub to catch grease. He means I'm fat. You starveling. You eel skin. You dried meat's tongue. You bull's pizzle. You stockfish. Did you get meat? It's an old word for an ox. And stockfish? That's a dried cod. All long, thin things. And bull's pizzle? Well, we'll just leave that for your imagination. <laughs>